Did you know that in 2018 alone, we produced close to 50 million tons of e-waste? And according to UN reports, only 20% of it goes into recycling plants. Now in the MENA region alone, the recycling rate is much lower, with only 5% of it being sent into recycling centers. In this episode of In Focus, let's learn what we can do to improve these statistics. I'm here today with Mr. Joseph Forbin, the Managing Director of Madinat al Nogba Recycling Services, to find out exactly what happens to all that e-waste once it enters the plant. So shall we enter? to our recycling uh, process, we provide a complete solution for our electrical and electronic equipment. Recy anything with a cord or power or battery, we do handle it. So we make sure we provide a complete solution of uh, waste electrical and electronic equipment. We are working with uh, Philip Lightning and Philip Electronic, which we handle all their uh, the, light equipment in Middle East and also their uh, medical electronic stuff and electrical equipment, everything that uh, the end of life uh, product that they have. So we are the, uh, the company that handles all their end of life product in Middle East. So once we receive the items here in our facility, it goes to the weight bridge and uh, the weight is being documented. And the next stage is the separation of the value and non, uh, uh, added value stuff and uh, uh, stuff for shredding. The shredded <coughs> materials are being taken to the manual table where they are being separated manually, removing all hazardous uh, uh, components such as a backup batteries to prevent any thermal event in the facility. And uh, the uh, separated uh, uh, particles such as uh, the uh, steel, Aluminium and copper and a motherboard are being kept now separately for, um, uh, for market value. And items that goes into the machine for shredding is being separated into ferrous and non-ferrous metal using our eddy current um, uh, uh, system and it goes now to the next stage for granulation where we now granulate uh, most of the um, cables and e-waste into other um, uh, components for resale purposes. <music> We make sure we provide a secure um, uh, data destruction and services in our facility with uh, CCTV cameras and uh, with uh, an industrial um, uh, hard drive recycling uh, uh, shredder. We shred all the hard drives or um, sensitive um, uh, devices into particles and we take it down to our recycling, e-waste recycling plant for the separation of uh, the ferrous and non-ferrous metal. For. The best way for consumers to recycle their e-waste in a better way is to request for a pickup or a, call or a delivery to our facility where um, uh, we will do a secured and uh, environmentally safe recycling process using our state-of-the-art recycling uh, plant here in UAE. And, uh, to make it a bit complete, more complete, we have a complete solution of the e-waste including um, uh, recycling of fluorescent lamps and anything with the mercury devices. So all the e-waste with the any mercury um, content can be easily uh, um, recycled in a safe manner in our facility. Now looking at the quantity of e-waste that is growing at an alarming rate, it's high time that as consumers of these products that we think twice before discarding them or at least ensure that they're being recycled in a proper manner. Maybe this can be your step towards growing green. So if you like this video, Hit a like button or even better, subscribe to our channel to get more such engaging videos. Until next time, this is Mega Anthony signing off.